So the first thing we want to do is add this uh, animation that I had. So you can again use an, another animation if you want to, it's completely up to you. Um, we can move all of this stuff out of the way a little bit. Because we're going to be changing a little bit here and we're going to type in play montage. Now you have a play montage and a play anime montage. We want to have a play montage for this. And the reason for that is we get a little bit more of execution pins for it, which are useful to us. So first we do this part where we uh, disable input, we determine the dash destination, we set our uh, preset start destination, uh, start location. Then we want to start playing our animation. And this node up here, which doesn't say anything, is the one that uh, continues once this has started. So this is the one that we want to plug in to play as start. Uh, and the montage we want to play, I don't have a montage currently, so let's fix that. Oh, okay. Uh, I haven't created a montage, I just have the animation over here. That would explain it. So we'll create an anime montage over here. Call it the Genji Dash montage. Hopefully this will be, yeah. So now we can uh, use the montage over here. The thing with this animation is um, a couple of things. If we choose to uh, show it in seconds, you can see that this montage is approximately 191 in length. Uh, so the part that looks like he's dashing forward with his sword like this, before he starts swinging, swinging with his arms, is approximately one second. And since we know that this dash is taking about approximately 0.25 seconds that means that we could have a play rate that is four times as long and uh, that means that the thrusting part should be playing out during the actual interpolation which means that we have the remainder of this animation playing out in the end before you can move the character and that works for my specific uh, case here so i'll be doing that let's take a look and see what that looks like then so we have our character over here, we press uh, the E key, and nothing's happening. Alright, we haven't connected up the things, uh, sorry, I disconnected it while we were troubleshooting. So um, let's fix this first. So the first thing is we should be playing from start to dash progress, which actually is the whole um, dash movement. We can comment this and say dash movement. Move this up a little bit so it's separated from the enable input. And what we do instead now, instead of when the dash is complete here, we disconnect that and we put this over here. So when the actual uh, completed uh, event from the montage is playing or happening, then we will enable input, which means that in the end of this dash, so not when it reaches this point when it has actually dashed and interpolate uh, finished, but actually after it has done this whole swinging part. Um, so we'll compile and see, uh, it seems like everything we need, so let's give it a try. So we'll run to the left, then we'll run to the right, and then we we'll dash. So you can see it's, it's sort of doing something, but not a whole lot currently. And animation blueprint probably doesn't have a... Where is it? Uh, anim graph. Yeah, we have a state machine, we don't have a slot for this. Um, so let's create a slot, slot default slot, this is what you need for uh, montages, so that the state machine is overridden by default slot if you play a montage. And then we'll save and we'll make sure that the, it's playing in the default slot in the montage. And this should be what's causing the issue I believe, I can't believe that I missed that. So we'll hook this one up like so again and assume that that works. And we'll play the animation, and it's playing, so that's good. Um, so remove that, we'll hook this one up there again, on completed we will enable input again, and we'll see if we need to do the blending or not. So that's what the animation will look like currently, he'll dash and then he'll do a slash. Uh, but we will need to speed this up again, like I spoke about earlier. So we'll make this to four, like so. 
we'll try it again. As you can see, this is a sort of an iterative process to make sure that it looks good and feels good. So you can see it's 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 sort of dashing forward and then doing something with his arms. It's sort of difficult to say. Uh, we might be able to clean that up a little bit by having a blend in time that's shorter because we're okay with it being like uh, quick into and out of the animation, I believe. So I changed the time from 0 0.25 to 0 0.1, which means that the time to interpolate between the stance it has before it starts the animation to the, f the first frame in the animation is much shorter, which means that it will have more time to perform its start and end. Uh, and we might even want something a little bit more abrupt than this. Um, mm -mm. 0 0.05 maybe. Save. And run. And oh, that was a little bit too far. So it's it's sort of quick, but you get the sense of it thrusting in and then doing some kind of slashing motion in the end, which is fine for a quick ability because you won't be like having a whole lot of time to, to examine it since it takes 0 0.25 seconds basically. So that is decent enough for that purpose. So let's just flare this up a little bit with some uh, uh, trails and see what it looks like in the end. So by opening up our character and going to our mesh and finding our skeletal mesh for this character, we can make use of uh, having sockets on this character. Um, however, uh, for this we will make it easy for ourselves. We will just be uh, using existing bones instead of uh, pre-made sockets. Uh, so we'll just add, we'll make sure that we have a couple of tracks here I think. And what we'll do is we'll have something like uh, on track one here, we'll add a notify state, a time Niagara effect. And if you don't know what we're doing now, the, I made a tutorial yesterday, which I will put a link in uh, the description if you want to do this whole creating a, an effect and how to use it. But we're basically going to be using a, a dash trail. Uh, I've named it and uh, let's see, we want it to play until there or something like that, I guess. Something like that. And we can copy and paste this. And let's say we want to have something like, let's make a few different ones. Copy, paste. So we'll have, and the, here you have creative freedom to do whatever you want, of course, but I'll just show you some uh, of uh, how to do this and then I'll maybe add some more off camera and you'll see the end result and what it looks like. Uh, but we have a dash trail over here. Let's say we wanted to have this one appear near the pelvis. Uh, so we have that. That's fine. We'll add one for uh, let's see what's our skeleton called. We have one for let's lower arm is is the elbow. Let's put some in the lower arm. Uh, lower arm L, and this one can be lower arm R, like so. And also, I was playing around with. Uh, let's see here. I was playing around with the run montage a little bit, so we'll remove that one. Let's see what this looks like. So you see you have some trails coming, one from uh, each elbow, one from... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, the pelvis. You can see we have a little bit of a bug here in the form of if we click somewhere and then we dash, uh, sometimes the character will try to run back if we if, if it hasn't reached the point where, uh, if I click over here, dash, and I haven't reached the point before the dash, he sometimes runs back, it looks like. 
so we might want to do something about that. Uh, probably something like... Is it stop movement? Immediately? Uh, something like that. So it just uh, stops do trying to do the movement before it does the dash. We shouldn't be having that issue anymore. In addition to this, you can also add uh, uh, some some flare for the arms. So let's go to our mannequin again, to our animation, and that's not the right one. We want to have the dash montage. And let's say that from the point where it starts to doing the spreading of the arms over here, uh, we can add. We can just copy paste these. Okay, that didn't go entirely as I intended, but okay, that's fine. Uh, so let's see. So somewhere here. And let's do it until that point, maybe. So we'll have them like so. And instead of this dash trail, we're going to be using something I called an attack trail. It's slightly different. It's just using a different orientation. Again, we go through this a little bit in the, the tutorial from yesterday that I will have a link for. Let's see what this looks like. So he does some flailing in the end, not a whole lot because mostly, uh, well, partly because uh, the animation is sort of short, uh, but yeah. So this is the general uh, idea for this ability. I will be putting a few more moments here of like tweaking uh, off camera to, to see what I end up with. And you'll have the end result in the beginning of the video, of course. You've already seen this, but yeah, I hope all of this made sense. Final, final little note before leaving you. Uh, I went in back and I, I noticed I didn't uh, have, the, for the animation, the last trails that I put in. I hadn't put them on a good place. They were still as the left arm or left elbow or something like that where I copied from. I made sure to put one on the left hand and left uh, right hand and then add tweak a little bit of the lifetime of them so this is what they look like now so it's it's similar to what we were trying to achieve at least so you know hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care